control. It is a very good afternoon and welcome to another edition. It promises to be an exciting one in today's extravaganza because we are talking inside the sports. And while at it, today we are giving you some golfing action. And when you think about the golfing action, we have plenty of the cards because we have the 2023 edition of the Magical Kenyan Open. Think about Magical Kenyan Open, the last edition actually in 2022. It was one boy, Kibugu, 18 years of age that particular year, was the person to beat. And yes, he is the only Kenyan who made the projected cut and also made the cut after having cutted a six under par. This year, his brother actually is doing duty for the country because he is at the course. I will be able to update you what exactly is happening and what he's been able to bring on the cards. But all in all, they're saying it is action action and more action and while you think of it we'll be here to tell you how the kenyans will be able to fare but all in all who exactly is leading at this particular time and what are the results talking about the results i know very very competitive it promises to be and at this particular time let me tell you who's leading uh Houston Stone is still on the summit of that log and he has an eight under par while dylan mosret is on position two uh, today has played a one uh, under and uh, he has a total of eight under and uh, Rio actually has a total of uh, nine under so a lot of competitiveness will be here just to tell you what exactly is happening and how the Kenyan team will continue to fare but of key importance remember we also have a number of other activities that are happening across the globe and think about the activities that are happening across the globe yesterday a lot of people are talking about Europa League Manchester United, you're smiling. Arsenal, it was a draw for you guys. But all in all, the likes of Roma also had a very, very formidable outing. I'll be here just to tell you the different results that we have and that we had yesterday. Allow me to bring uh, one person that has been uh, very instrumental in making uh, sure that uh, this event is, and actually the event is uh, as uh, beautiful as it is. Merian, I know I know you, but for the benefit of our viewers, I kindly introduce yourself and tell me, are you enjoying yourself today? Hi everyone, my name is Marianne Kagwe. I'm the brand manager at AFSA Bank Kenya. I am really enjoying myself today. It's good to see what's happening out there. It's good to see uh, spectators coming out, supporting our local pros, supporting the players who've come. It's a good day to be here. Uh, talking about uh, support, so you've uh, gone out, you've supported the tournament, but also of key interest, you've supported nine players. What actually is behind all these 12 years, 13 years running now? Yeah. And uh, we're saying that we still are doing this. Yes, yes. At APSA, we are really, really proud to be part of this uh, tournament. We've been with Kenya Open for 13 years, so you can tell that we are here for the long haul. Um, we, in addition to just sponsoring the tournament, we sponsored the local pros, uh, eight of them and one amateur and uh, interestingly the the amateur was one who won Joroge Kibugu was one who won last year and we're here to support him again we are seeing some really good progress with our local pros and I think the support that we're giving them uh, is also just motivating them to get to the cut tomorrow so let's see that I mean it's it's special for us to to support them to celebrate our local pros because that's what we are at APSA we celebrate the resilience they are showcasing we celebrate their tenacity they are you know they are bringing out their a-game so I, I encourage people to come down and watch them and support i know yesterday we had uh, plenty of exciting action today it also promises to be a good one i know a number of kenyans have uh, just uh, gone to the course at this yeah. particular time but what do we expect moving uh, to saturday and also sunday fans have uh, started trickling in yes i can see uh, today there are a lot more people than there were yesterday so I can tell even as we go into the weekend, a lot more uh, fans will come and, um, you know, support, us, support the pros, especially the local pros. I really do want our Kenyans to come and see what they're doing. Um, I think, you know, yesterday we saw the Kibugu brothers doing well. Let's, you know, hope today that they make the cut and uh, see the action continuing. I know the pros, as you said, are still, you know, in the early stages of the game today. So let's see how it goes throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, let me bring some athletics on the menu a little bit, sure. because as much as you are heavy on golf you're also doing some uh, impressive work uh, on the athletics front yes yeah, so at APSA we understand the what sports 
is it's a passion point for Kenyans, right? So we want to be there with them. We want to show them that we are also part of you. We are relevant to you. And so we have also sponsored a lot of the athletics engagement. One of our flagship sponsorships is the Keep Kano Classic, which is coming in May. So we look out for that. And a lot of other regional engagements, you know, going across and, and supporting our local athletes. Remember what we were saying? We, we want to celebrate their resilience. We want to celebrate them as our sportsmen and women. Thank you very much and uh, continue doing the fantastic job. Thank you very much. So we're talking about uh, the Kenyans actually that are playing. Allow me to take you to the other side because I know uh, Dismas Indiza, one of the people that actually are uh, uh, beneficiary from uh, the different support that you're having at this particular place, will be taking off in the next uh, around uh, two minutes. And uh, for Dismas Indiza, I know he's a gentleman who has been very instrumental in the world of golf in this uh, country. So uh, there is a lot that is happening on that uh, front and you will agree that uh, uh, when you have uh, talent uh, on uh, the menu, when you have talent on the cards, then you will try as much as possible and make that uh, talent uh, tick. And when the talent ticks then, you agree uh, that uh, different golfers when playing actually uh, at an international level, then they will be able to compete. And while at it, then they will be able to compete in a very, very formidable version. So I'm just taking you to uh, hole uh, number one, actually the T point of uh, T number one, where we can see somewhere there, uh, Dismas Indies are actually just uh, holding uh, his uh, 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 body there. And he's trying as much as possible to try as much as possible and make sure that uh, when he tees off, then he will be able to do it in a spectacular fashion. I know uh, when you think about uh, the Kenyan golfers that have been able to play, those who are playing, uh, we have had a mixed kind of a result. And in the mixed kind of a result, uh, sometimes they are able to have some positive outings, sometimes they do struggle. But you really can't be able to tell how they will be able to fare. But for one man like uh, Dismas, for him, he's a hard-hitting uh, kind of a person uh, so he knows how to hit those balls with a lot a lot of uh, uh, force I should say but at the same time it's uh, for him just for the benefit of trying as much as possible and uh, saying that he will be able to uh, play the best golf that he does remember for him he's one of the people who are in the Kenyan team and uh, the Kenyan team actually uh, comprises of uh, those uh, eight uh, professional golfers and then we also have the amateurs who are trying as much as possible to have a positive outing in this uh, side so we'll be following it up we will be able to see I know he has some few minutes to play but before he tears off maybe we'll be able to see him let's go to Cabras where we know for the Cabras side they have the Kenya Cup uh, final that they will be hosting in Kakamega they're calling it the den and in the den a lot a lot is expected this weekend as we have uh, the uh, finals so we will see how that will be able to go but before that I can see uh, Indiza is just about to tear off he's already uh, placed his ball down uh, he's a person who knows that he is strong and he uses his strength in the best way that uh, he does so let's just see him uh, take uh, his uh, first shot of the day he was at the green and at the green actually he was just uh, making sure that maybe he will be able to handle the greens well but today there he goes this must be his first shot of the day uh, I think it's a fantastic shot, so we will be able to uh, follow it up and be able to tell you how the other Kenyans will be able to play in today's action. But while we're speaking at uh, that, I was talking about uh, Cabras and uh, we know for Cabras uh, sugar for them. Uh, the Kenya Cup is on the menu and just by the fact that they were able to uh, be the log leaders uh, this time out, then it will be played in their backyard. So uh, in the backyard, and that is in Kakamega, a lot will be expected from uh, this uh, Cabras side. Playing at home at some point, uh, they always have uh, positive results, but others will say it's a mixed kind of a result. But for them, they're saying they're ready. They have sharpened their arsenal and they are optimistic that this will be their year to dance. We've lost several finals in the past, so I think that's a learning curve for them. I mean, losing a couple of finals and then you don't learn from those, it becomes uh, mediocre. So that's one thing that we are not. Uh, we've worked hard and we've mentally prepared and now 
talking about the experience of those players, that's what has brought us where we are today because if you, if you remember, the same questions you guys were asking when we started the season, uh, not understanding why we're playing youngsters or why we're winning um, close games. And I told you guys, there's a, um, a pet, you know, there's a, a, a way that we are going about things and trying to get these guys, these youngsters, to where they are today. Today we are able to play a team that is blended between experience and youngsters and without any fear or favor we are playing a player that is on form, a player that deserves to be in the team, not playing players because of um, the past or the experience they have. This is the third time that um, Cabras is hosting these finals and what it means in economic terms to the county government and the local community is enormous. For example, we do expect so many visitors coming from Nairobi and beyond. As we are speaking now, all the hotels, all the bed spaces are gone. All we are saying is that uh, we endeavor to interface sports and um, social economy. So not long ago, these uh, two sides actually met, and uh, we know how uh, the uh, KCB fans were heartbroken because Cabras actually playing in Nairobi, they were able to dance against uh, them, and they got an important, very vital victory. So the conversation is, will KCB be able actually to have a positive outing in this weekend's action? Others are saying, yes, they might. Others are saying they will not. But the KCB fraternity and their players, their tacticians, they are saying we are all also going to have a fantastic outing because we've prepared and we simply want to win. First of all, we thank God for reaching this far. We are very excited about this day. This is a culmination of uh, seasons of work and uh, it could not get better than this playing Cabras who are a worthy opponent. So we are, uh, we are very uh, cautious as we approach the game uh, owing to the fact we lost to them last time. But a final is a different uh, ball game from from a uh, uh, regular, regular game in the season. So all systems are set, all guns will be firing. Uh, there's no holding back as you go to this game. Uh, <clears throat> in, that, in that game, this different scenarios play out in a game. We, we play situationally. There's the template which the coach has given, but then there's the scenarios that uh, come. So we play reaction. Uh, it it's, it uh, later on emerged that uh, we we may have kicked the ball much, but some games we've won by kicking. So when it, it, didn't, when it, it didn't work out for us that way. We cannot say we're never going to kick, but you are, we're going to be smarter in our options and also utilize our chances because you never know how many chances you may have. We lost a couple of chances in spite of uh, saying we, we kicked the ball. Had we used our chances, then the outcome would be the same, but still we kicked the ball. So I know for Manchester United supporters, uh, this week has uh, been the heaviest of a week, uh, you will agree. And we know what happened actually last weekend. Liverpool, you guys actually... Huh. I think I'm one of the people who have had a very sad outing because a number of uh, people have called me, the texts that I've received. Uh, I've never said that we are Kiburi FC and I don't know where that came from. But all in all, Liverpool hammered us. But yesterday at least, today I'm in red, not our jersey. But I had uh, the tenacity actually to wear red because at least, at least, at least... Manchester United yesterday against Real Betis. The first goal went behind the net. And I was like, oh my, we're getting another beating. But Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes, he had a fantastic outing. The final score was a 4-1 in favor of the Red Devils.